Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Let's take a look at something else. I know you see other stuff here on the table, but the thing we're going to look at in this video is what we see front and center here, and it is this Michael Myers Halloween figure by Trick or Treat Studios. Let's start with the box. Very nice packaging from Trick or Treat Studios. This is the first figure from Trick or Treat Studios that I have added to my collection. Trick or Treat, 1 6 scale Michael Myers figure, The Night He Came Home. This is from the 1978 original first Halloween. Uh, it's a great movie. Classic. There's Michael Myers and uh, wearing a William Shatner mask. Now, at the time when I first saw this movie, which would have been, I believe, I saw this on Showtime uh, in about 1979, 1980, when it came on rotation on Showtime. I didn't understand, I didn't recognize, I don't remember when I, I first learned that that was a Michael Sh or a William Shatner mask. I don't, I don't know when I first learned that that's what the mask was, but it, I don't believe it was then, it was later. I didn't recognize that. I didn't know who this was. And I don't, I don't remember reading or hearing that it was, uh, that it was William Shatner. But nice packaging, isn't it? There's like a little quote on the inside. I suppose you could go back and pause that if you wanted to see it. Now, he didn't come with a stand. I just have him in a stand. Um, he came with, uh, with one extra hand and with this fist and this knife. Let's start at the top. Let's start with the head sculpt, which I think is dynamite i think it's great and what i really like about this head sculpt is it does a great job of looking like a guy in a mask and not just a plastic head that is supposed to be a, a mask a guy in a mask it looks like there's a mask on this this figure see this come around to the back it's got that slit in it isn't that neat? I really like detail like this. This is the type of stuff that keeps me in this hobby. Now, I'm not a huge... I am a, a big monster movie fan, but I'm not like one of these guys that, you know, has a bunch of... I, I think I have one other Michael Myers Halloween item. But I do enjoy all the movies. And um, when I see a new character... Look at this. Isn't this nice? When I see a new figure of a character that... I like that I feel like I would like to add to my collection and that might have use. Boy, this is this this is one of them. When I saw this and I liked the price point, I thought it would be a good opportunity to try out Trick or Treat Studios. I don't necessarily have the desire to buy any more of this this figure because they do make Michael Myers figures for I think they've got maybe three or four of them out at this point of all different types from the different movies, and some of them are blood splattered, or you know, each one is accurate to the film that, that he is from. Um, boy, where was I going with that? I just lost my train of thought. So I don't see myself buying any more of these Michael Myers figures from Trick or Treat Studios, but I am interested in their terrifier figure of art the clown so i'm considering that figure here eventually i might pick him up because this figure which i bought from trick or treat turned out to be really good i really like it all right so we saw that head sculpt and you see all this articulation in here it's great it's tight okay so Moving down, all right, so here's that fist I told you about. Very easy to to, uh, to remove and replace the hand on this figure. It's perfectly fine. Very easy to remove and replace the knife on this figure. It can go either way. You just got to unplug it. If you want to put it this way, you can. 
the the opening in the hand is large enough so that if you're a guy like me and you have a whole collection of six scale weapons, knives and swords and baseball bats and chains and things, I have a whole collection of weapons that we can have Michael wielding here if we want to put him on the hunt, maybe have him murder some Barbie dolls. That's kind of why I got him. All right, so one thing I like about this figure from Trick or Treat is they took, even though I think this is the first figure that they made, I think this is their earliest, their first one. Um, they took the time and the effort to give this figure a larger than normal muscular body. I'm sure you guys can just see it. So there's muscle in here. This guy's got some muscles, which is perfect, which is just what we want. He's big. He's not just like a regular, just cheapo G.I. Joe style body. This guy's got some muscle here. I haven't tried to unzip this, but we'll go ahead and unzip it and see what's what's going on under here. It looks like he's got a black t-shirt. Zipper works perfectly fine. Isn't that nice? All right. Now this figure has has definite customized customization abilities because he's just got this this plain blank coverall. You could add blood splatter and weathering and dirt to this if you wanted to and mud or something like that. Here's the other hand. What it looks like. The back of the figure we saw. Oh, here's the boot. So there is a little bit of floppiness here. That's why I have him in the stand. Now the upper body is good, but these legs are a little bit not as tight as we would like it to be, but it's still manageable. It still stands good without the stand, but I like him in a stand when I'm going to put him in some sort of an action pose or something. I want him to be supported by the stand. So here's something nice. The last thing we'll look at on the figure is that he comes with these really nicely sculpted military surplus style jungle boots. These are U.S. Army Vietnam era jungle boots, but they're not actually that. These are the ones that were popularized in the 70s and 80s that are like China-made ones that were sold in army surplus stores. Now, the reason I know this is because of the sole on the boot. So if you were in the army, like if Lead Paint is watching this, he knows what I'm talking about. So these aren't real jungle boots. These are the ones that you could buy at the army surplus store. Not actual army issue jungle boots. Hope you enjoyed this video. We took a look at this really cool Michael Myers figure from Halloween 1978 from Trick or Treat Studios. Thanks for, wa thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a great day or evening. And I'll talk to you later.